Hello my bookish friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be doing a mid month wrap up. Okay so as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title so far I have read four books. I say I've read four books. By the time oh, by the time this video goes up I will have read four books because I am more than halfway through one of the books. So I'm gonna go through the three books that I finished and then we're gonna go through the books that I'm part way through. So the first book of the month that I read was the Castle of Tangled Magic and this is by Sophie Anderson. This follows a girl called Olia. She lives in a castle called Castle Mila. Way, 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 way back. Um, um, her family used to be royals so they still live in the castle but they are no longer royalty and she loves going to find the entrances to all these different towers inside the castle because they're full of all these different towers that have secret entrances. She does believe in magic. She doubts herself quite a lot but she, like her grandma, which she's called Babusha, she also believes in magic and she tries to encourage Olia to believe. And basically there's a situation that happens that a storm is coming and the castle's starting to fall apart so it's down to Oli to basically try and save the day and then she finds the entrance to under the world through in one of these towers, one of these domes and it's about her trying to save her family home um, this is absolutely five star, no doubt, just Right, okay, and this is this is the reason why. Like I've not read I think I mentioned this in my reading vlog, I've not read middle grade for a long time and um I did say a place called Perfect was middle grade, but I don't think it is. I've just I googled it again the other day and it said it's a young adult one, so I don't know. But anyway, this is a middle grade book and I smiled basically the whole way through because it's like a found family situation, it's an adventure, it's magic, it's yeah, it's just it's just everything. It made me cry <laughs> at the end. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it and tell you what it why I cried, but Olia is great, there's characters that she meets along the way that are just also different in personality but so so lovely and um I was pleasantly surprised because there was I thought that something was gonna happen and with one of the characters that didn't end up happening and I was surprised at myself but I'm kind of glad that I was surprised if that makes sense so my battery is flashing at me so if I don't get through this video on my camera I'm going to switch to my phone so the picture might change a bit but just to warn you um, so yeah this book 5 out of 5 stars 100% recommend yeah I'm, I would 100% recommend this to anybody that loves a fantasy and found family and just a heartwarming good time and it was quite a quick read as well. The second book of the month that I read was A Place Called Perfect and this book for me, um, I'll just tell you a bit about it. It follows a girl called Violet who moves to a town called Perfect and then basically she realises that it's not as perfect as, um, as it's made out to be. She meets a, a boy called Boy who basically they go on this little adventure and they're trying to find out what's going on in Perfect. Her dad disappears, her mum's acting strange and yeah, and there's loads of like creepy people and things like that. It's just really it is really good. However, I listened to this on audiobook and the narrator, I don't know why, but I just did not like the narrator. Like the, the <laughs> it sounds so petty. But the voice of Violet sounds more or less the same as the voice of a mother. And I just don't... I'm going to sound like I'm shading this... this I'm being really shady towards this woman who narrated the, the book. And I'm not. It's just... 
I think that potentially could have been a reason why I didn't give it a five star. I, I might try and reread it and see if I get the same result. But this is the first time I've come across a main character that I do not like. Yes, I know that Violet is a child, but I do not like Violet. She's a brat. I just, I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to like her. She does have some redeeming qualities. She does, obviously she tries to fight and find a dad. And that bit of it is like really heartwarming and like she, you know, but she's stubborn, but she is a bit of a brat. But when it comes to Boy, Boy is hands down just a brilliant character and I absolutely adore him. And yeah, let's get four stars. I will put a full review on Goodreads. So if you would like to see a full review um, on that, then I will link my Goodreads down below. Next up, we have a castle of <laughs> no we don't we have next <laughs> next we have a darker shade of magic now i listened look how floppy this book is what a flop i listened to this book on audiobook so i read up to there physically alongside the audiobook but then i read the last bit in audiobook and this for me was great I initially gave it a four star. Um, the more that I think about it, I don't know. It might I might change to a five star. The only thing that kind of for me let it down was initially the atmosphere, and I don't know why, but there was a little bit of a disjoint there for me. So I don't know. I'll go with my gut and just as soon as I'd read it, I put it down and then just. Went straight to Corp Hale, um and I just entered in what I thought that particular time. But I do really love this book. Like, I would reread this. I would recommend this to, if you like, magic, adventure. Like, it's a teensy little bit of, like, flirtation romance. And I'm sure that his brother is, um, like, 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 he's, like, LGBTQ. Like, likes men and women and um, his brother gives off that I'm sure it, it has like a oh yeah I don't know it just I just got that vibe from reading it that just the way his brother spoke that he kind of liked men and women tell me if I'm wrong if you've read this but I might have misinterpreted that but I'm sure I get that which for me it's not it's not all about like the romance and the sex and stuff it's very much about you know the magic and the world building and and that kind of thing we, and the romance is very subtle in the background and it's just kind of like little comments and maybe like a little bit of thing now and then get joined it doesn't take over the book just, i really love it this is the first in the dark shade of magic trilogy i cannot wait to get onto the conjuring of light I think the next one is I'll have to double check that but yeah I can't wait to get onto that but I've got a couple of books to read before that which I'm going to move on to next so at the moment I am reading part way through the King of, How the King of Elfame Learned to Hate Stories and I am 74 pages in I did initially <laughs> And you'll probably see a, a couple of videos before this where I was like, mm, might be a three, might be a four. Mm. The more I get into this book, the more I think it's probably going to be a four. Because initially to start with, I really do think that it was me that was the reason why I was feeling it was a three to begin with. Because I just don't feel like I was in the right headspace at the time. I was kind of half paying attention when I was reading it. Um, I was stressing a lot because my toilet had just bust and then my computer had broken i was very stressed i shouldn't have been in any kind of headspace to start a new book and read i should have just been like being all zen and probably done a face mask and got a bubble bath instead of trying to sit down and focus and read because the further i've got into this book literally it's like 40 pages more than what i had was on before and i really am enjoying this it's kind of like this is like the prequel, I think, to The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Oh, this is by Holly Black, by the way. Um, 
the, the yeah so there's a cruel prince like trilogy and this is like the prequel of how he became the cruel prince i think and i really really like this i'll i've never read a like a, a villain becoming a villain story like a villain's like starting out what they're called yeah i don't know what they're called like a villain's beginning story like you know what i mean i've never i've never read one of those before and i really do like this character he's had a few like beatings and he's been kicked while he's been down he's been no honest it i just feel like if i lost my moral code i could be him <laughs> like for me i'm just too much of a was i stick by the rules and i'm scared to change the rules um but that's just yeah but i think if i'd been through what he'd been through and i had magic i'd be like Psh, right i'm gonna be a villain bye <laughs> so yeah this one is yes i'm really really liking this i've got about 100 pages left and i'm gonna finish this tonight so by the time this goes up which probably friday or saturday then this book will have been finished and i will either leave my rating here or i will link it in goodreads but so yeah there's that so next up i'm going to read king of the wicked this is going to be my next book after this i'm going to read a conjuring a light fingers crossed hopefully I'm also wanting to get Assassin's Blade in there at some point, as well as my other books on the TBR by the end of the month. But we'll see how we go. I'm trying to not rush my reading, but just trying to get through some books that I really, really want to get to. But if I don't get to them, I'm not going to punish myself. It's January, it's the beginning of the, beginning of the year. The gear's starting on high because I've got some really good reads in and I'm feeling good, feeling fresh, toilet's fixed, computer's fixed, every everything's fixed and my life is just good right now. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know why I keep looking down, like I'm looking down there instead of there. Anyway, I'm really not still, I'm still not used to talking to the camera because I feel like I'm talking to myself, which I kind of am. But yeah, anyway, that's just me, I'm just weird, anyway. <laughs> Um, if you do like reading Hello, Editing Lisa here um, I filmed a clip of my outro on um, my phone because my battery died and now I can't find that clip so what I was trying to say at the end of the video is if you like my videos and you want to see more of me then like comment subscribe i will leave all my socials down below including my twitter instagram goodreads and amazon wishlist link and yeah i will be trying to keep up with more videos so bear with me and until next time be kind be happy and stay true to you and i'll see you all very soon bye